Today we're gonna to be doing some more Amazon Flex and today we're gonna to be doing Whole Foods. So there is our local Whole Foods market. I say local, but it's definitely not local to me. I had to drive a good 40 minutes to get out here, but yeah, content. Today is gonna to be my first day doing Amazon Whole Foods, so we'll see how this goes. I got here pretty early because I was doing Instacart and I don't have enough time to do any more orders, so I'm just gonna wait. We are gonna be able to check in and wait about 15 minutes. And I already went in there and scouted the store out because I've never done this. So I figured out where their coolers were. I had to ask an employee, but apparently they're in the back for Whole Foods. So hopefully I go through the right doors and don't get into some trouble. At least I'm wearing an Amazon vest. You guys could basically get away with anything in these. I'm mostly joking there. Mostly. I assume if you guys clicked on this video that you guys know a little bit about Whole Foods already but basically instead of delivering packages, we will be delivering groceries, similar to Amazon Fresh. And the nice part about it is we actually get tips from this. So we get $30 guaranteed for two hours of work and they predict that we'll get paid anywhere from 30 to $60 in total. I've heard some pretty nice things about this area though. So I'm expecting some nice tips. So yeah, if it's your first time doing Amazon Whole Foods, just ask an employee if you guys can't find the coolers because they might be in a back room. Also, don't forget to bring a cart with you because you guys are gonna need a cart to put all your groceries in. In regards of actually figuring out what groceries are yours, the app supposedly makes it pretty straightforward. Basically, they give you a little code that shows you what shelf or what freezer it's gonna be in, and then you just scan the package that is there, and you keep going until you scan all the packages that you guys have in your list. Usually, these range anywhere from like one to seven stops from what I've seen. So anyways, I'll see you guys with a card full of stuff. All right guys, here's the orders. So on all of these packages, they have a little code word up here, seven out of eight here, pair all these together. All right, here are some packages. And the yeah. others. All right, so it's now 3.11. So we did pretty good. I probably look super confused in there. Hopefully I didn't do any major no-nos. I feel like you would need like straight up three carts to not stack any of those uh, brown bags. Do you guys stack the bags or is that like a no-no? Cause I guess there could be bread in there. So you just have to make sure the heavy stuff's at the bottom. All right, so we're only six minutes away for our first drop off. If you guys can see me. Okay. Hate these things. And just because we survived, all the social interactions. It's time for a nice cold seltzer water, sparkling water. Let's go. Navigation started. Looks like it might storm, so got to get this done fast. Shut up. Ride. So we got to get that done fast. So of course, the first drop off, there's a person there. So I didn't want to get my camera out and look like a complete clown. But let's be honest, I still look like a complete clown. These drop-offs are actually really close to each other. There's only one that's a little further away. And uh, lucky me, it's actually closer to my house. One thing I wasn't a huge fan of is that their address wasn't really on the bag. I'm usually used to, with Amazon, using that to kind of confirm that I for sure have the right package must be party time over here so yeah i scanned it and it worked and i assume if it was the wrong package it would have never scanned off to our next drop off a little odd to me that everyone has been waiting for me to come so everyone has just been there so i didn't feel like recording and that wants you to help me get access to her apartment so far everyone's been really nice though a lot nicer than some customers i've dealt with on other apps like instacart <music> So as a little test, I tried to scan a package that I knew was incorrect, and sure enough, it would not allow me to scan it. So that's just another way, if you guys are unsure if you have the right group, you guys could try that out. I used to do that when I worked for Amazon. If I was uh, ever extremely confused, and it worked pretty fine. Our next drop off is 20 minutes away. It's the only one that wasn't like super close. Well, that's cool. Dang it. 
Apparently Amazon chose this route for me to go. This train has slowed us down so much. There have been two trains. I haven't been able to go through this intersection in 15 minutes and I have no idea where I'm at. Fun fact, today this got stuck in my car. I thought I blew a tire, but apparently this one flying out of someone's car, under my car, and hit the skid plate under my car. Luckily it didn't hit anything important, but it straight up went straight through metal. Glad it didn't come through my windshield. And you could see where I was getting dragged on the ground, just ate by asphalt. Yep, yeah, fun. I'm still waiting for the train too. There is probably two miles of stop traffic at this point. It's insane. That's a pretty cool back end. I don't know about the diffuser, but that's pretty sweet. All right guys, so we just finished our last drop off and they want me to drive back to want me to drive back to the starting area which is a good 30 minutes away and my shift is done in 30 minutes so yeah it's kind of weird sounds like a waste of time I saw this happen with someone else and they just didn't drive back so yeah we'll see what I do here all right guys so it has been a couple of days and we now know exactly how much we made from our whole foods block we ended up making $65, and the best part is this only took us about an hour and a half to complete. The only thing that's stopping me from doing more of these is the fact that the Whole Foods store is a solid 45 minutes away from my house. Being that I just got deactivated from Instacart, it might be something that I will just commute to go do. It's a possibility, and it seems to pay very well. I actually did another Whole Foods block after this one, and I got $55 the next day. So it seems to average right around $60, and these are two hour blocks that you guys could get done in just an hour and a half. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this or involving other gig apps like Shipt, Favor, DoorDash, Uber Eats, basically everything at this point. And without any further ado, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.